facing charges after police say they shot at a family trying to return a U-Haul truck last week. Good evening, I'm Julie Montanera. And I'm Ben Kaplan. The victims of that shooting now filing a lawsuit against the rental truck company and the owners of the property where it happened. Emma Wheeler following the story for us tonight. And Emma, what's the latest this evening? Well, Ben, Julie, this all happened last Thursday. According to police documents, there was an officer in the area at the time who heard gunshots when that officer went to go check it out. They saw Beverly and Wallace Fountain leaving the area with guns in hand. The two who own this plaza were both charged with three counts of aggravated assault, but the victims say that's not enough. This nation has made it clear that black lives are in danger. An entire race of people are in a state of confusion and disbelief, as I am. Kendrick Clemens and Charles McMillan Jr. now demanding justice, suing Fountain Plaza and U Hall. After dropping off the keys to their rental truck, the two found themselves under fire. Mr. McMillan grabbed his minor child. Mr. Clemens dug even deeper into the vehicle, and they hit the gas. Wallace and Beverly Fountain now charged with aggravated assault. Police documents say the Fountains told officers on scene they thought the men were stealing gas and were trying to startle them. That doesn't give anyone the right to become judge, jury, and executioner uh, all in one swoop when you see a black pickup truck. McMillan was there with his 10-year-old son. He says seeing him so scared was traumatic. Now he has questions that still can't be answered. He said, Dad, why did they think you were stealing gas? We don't have to steal gas. And I told him I didn't know. Now, I did call a phone number that's listed here for Fountain Plaza. I also reached out to U-Haul. A representative with the company told me that they do not comment on pending litigation. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Emma Wheeler, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Emma, thank you.